Hello guys, welcome to the 10th tutorial of the static timing analysis playlist and in this tutorial we are going to learn about the negative setup time and hold time analysis. So let's get started without wasting any time. So a quick recap where we have analyzed that the time taken for the data to start from here and reach this point before uh, in general before the clock edge there is certain time needed for the data to become stable right. So that time why we got we analyzed and that is the internal structure of the flop where we have seen this the data need to travel all this path of combo logics to reach the point so that's why this is the setup time that is coming before the clock edge let's say this point is x so now to analyze the negative setup time we should go little into detail let us add all the possible delays that can come okay so i'm i'm deleting this okay so what possibilities is in the data path there could be a possibility of some combo logic delay and here this clock bar means let's say it is coming through some uh, logic which might also add the this is the clock so that port in this port is same or something so this also some combo logic that could be possible so one might think why this combo logic is so there are cases where let's say there is a scan flip-flop which is built by using a flip-flop under multiplexer here mx this is a scan flop right so this could be a combo logic or if you also see uh, in the flip flop transitions from one flip flop to other flip flop, uh, let's say you want to design a JK flip flop using a D flip flop, there is a possibility of having some OR gate or NOR gate, some logic before connecting to the D pin of the D flip flop. So, all that scenarios or such kind of cases, let's say, are the combo logics that are here, which is being between this transmission gate and this data in that is really fed into this logic. So, this is one part. So, here this delay is called as T comp and this we call as let's say T clock delay. So, the clock reached the flop the point where it reaches to the real transmission gate might take some delay so that is what this delay is also there is some questions where they will say there is a flop and they have written a wrapper of wrapper to the flop where some delay between the real data that is reaching to the flop versus to the input of this wrapper and similarly in the clock path so these delays also can be modeled as t comb here and t clock path delay here so those are multiple cases uh, to uh, contract that the combo logic could be possible before the transmission gate and between the uh, d in of the, that path okay so that is one point now in general if you see let's say the original uh, setup time is some example we will say the original setup time equal to some two nanoseconds let us assume so that numericals would be easy so now before because of adding this combo logic how it will affect so the the time the data should come here to this point x will be increased right because it should also pass through this combo logic so now the t setup time updated one is t combo plus t setup time old or the original one okay so let's say the combo logic delay is some one nanosecond so this setup time old one is two nanoseconds so it is three nanoseconds so the um, the important point here one can make is if the combo logic increased in the data data path the setup time of it also increases so this is one observation we can make because of the combo logic addition, the setup time got increased. Now the counterpart is, there is also a possibility that there is a delay in the clock path uh, that we discussed here, okay. So, in general, the data should travel this far to become stable. I mean, by at this point, it should be available readily for us. But because of the delay in the clock path, the transmission gate will take some time to turn off, okay. Means the data can sufficiently come little slower not in a hurry anyway because the transmission gate is turning off little late so the whole point or the whole requirement came because at this point there should not be any conflict so i'll try to highlight that so at this point there should not be any conflict so uh, why there should not be any conflict if you ask back this path and this path should not conflict with each other so that the propagation data we can't assure what it is going so that's why we will say by the term uh, data should be readily stable here so in that point if you analyze since it is taking some time to turn off the data can come little slow that means in general for a clock edge you you say that it should come sufficiently early but because of this transmission gate turning off little late the data can come little after this window also still it won't affect so in that case if you see and you update the equation the clock path delay that you that is being added to make this transmission get turn off or by some means where the delay in this clock path is actually making our equation in a negative manner like it is reducing the setup time that is needed okay so let's say here the clock path delay is some one nanosecond then if you update this equation again then the setup time is 
1 plus 2 minus 1 which is 2 nanoseconds. So in this orientation if you think and if you increase this clock path delay more and more see it's not it may be intentional not intentional or somehow but let's say this clock path delay is increased to an extent like let's say 4 nanoseconds here then this equation will no longer hold as it is right so it is minus 1 nanoseconds so here in such kind of cases you can say the setup time is negative so intuitively how you will visualize the setup time negative means let's say this is the clock edge so you in general say the data should become stable sufficiently sometime ahead of this clock edge but if negative setup time is the case then after the clock edge also data can come so that is the concept of negative setup time so in general after analyzing the whole time also you will come to a conclusion where either of the parameter can be negative but at a time both cannot be negative the sum of setup time plus whole time should be always positive so that we will see why it will violate it in the other way around so this is the concept of negative setup time so if you similarly analyze the possibilities in the what you call uh, let's say here we will see the same possibilities for the negative whole time analysis similarly the possibilities is the combo logic delay here and for the clock some delay here t clock path delay so these are the two delays right now the original hold analysis that we have done what it demonstrates is the time it takes for this transmission gate to turn off so that is the whole time so that much time at least you should hold the data so after the clock edge you should hold your data at least for certain amount of time so that it will not clash at the next flop at the clock edge so whether the previous data or the current data those and all we have explained in detail in the setup time whole time analysis if you have not watched those videos please do watch those videos before watching this video so the similar path the, the delay in the data path will affect the setup time similarly the delay in the clock path will affect the whole time so in that way we can say so the more time it takes to turn off this transmitter the more the whole time we can call or the more time the more time it should hold the data in that way also we can look into it so in general the delay in the data path i mean directly i'm writing the clock path delay right so this is normal whole time we call then in the negate manner i mean it will degrade the equation so if you add the delay in the combo path then the whole time needed will obviously reduce why in other intuitive also you can think of it let's say data is coming through this point already the data is being delayed because of this logic so it's okay if the transmission gate turns little slow also sufficiently it's enough by the time it turns slow data also is taking time to travel so in that way also you can write as minus t delay so this will this will be your new hold so similar, similarly if you put the numbers right let's say initial hold is some 1 ns if the delay is 1 ns then the hold is 0 if the delay is let's say 2 ns here then the hold will be minus 1 nanosecond so t hold new so in this way there is a possibility of getting the whole time also so based on the delays and all and i already explained why there could be possibility of a delay in the uh, data path as well as in the clock path so with this you can now able to say if someone asks in the interview is there a possibility of negative setup time and whole time the answer is yes there is a possibility of negative setup time and whole time but in industry level when they do the static timing analysis the most common use term is slack okay um, that we already discussed that the arrival time the required time the difference of them is called a slack but whether it's positive slack or negative slack is what industry they will be using based on that they will try to fix and become get into a positive slack of it so that's more of a negative setup time and whole time analysis so we have discussed already few questions on setup time and whole time analysis and in the upcoming tutorials we will see few more interesting examples in the uh, static timing analysis fields hope you guys learned something new in this video please subscribe to my channel and do support me thank you for watching see you in the next tutorial